Hello everyone, I'm Craig Williams with your Diz Daily Fix for Thursday, December 15th, 2016. Here's what's happening today. First up, Rogue One, a Star Wars story, opens tonight, and that's the only news that's important today. Deal with it. But, since I should be somewhat informative, let's talk Disneyland. Disney announced this year's Lunar New Year celebration will expand to 17 days taking place at Disney California Adventure from January 20th through February 5th. Guests will enjoy food, live musical performances, and Chinese acrobats, 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 amongst other activities, limited time merchandise, and characters like Mickey, Minnie, Mulan, and Muchu in special costumes. There will also be three new Asian marketplaces serving cuisine from China, Korea, and Vietnam. The most exciting part of this news is that a six-minute pre-show called Hurry Home will be seen before World of Color each night of the celebration. The story is of a little lantern on its journey home to join its lantern family in celebrating Lunar New Year. And it features animated appearances from Mulan and Mushu in dream sequences inspired by traditional Chinese paper cutout style animation. It sounds heartwarming. If that doesn't have you excited, come back over to Walt Disney World because a special Magic Band 2.0 is being spotted. Apparently, a 45th anniversary Magic Band 2.0 was seen at the Transportation and Ticket Center gift shop being sold for $32.99. Rumors are that it's also available inside the Magic Kingdom, but no one can really say where. On top of that, the WDW Today Twitter account confirmed Magic Band 2.0 has started to ship to guests despite the old Magic Band still showing up on the My Disney Experience website. I just ordered mine to see what happens, so we can just sit here and wait until it gets here. Or not. Finally, I wanted to mention that today is the 50th anniversary of the death of Walt Disney. We mentioned previously on The Fix that Disney was commemorating this day with an event called Walt Week, but I think it's important to acknowledge Walt in any way at all today, because without him, I wouldn't be sitting here doing this, and the world would just be a lot less fun. Thanks for everything, Walt. Now, today's featured article on The Diz comes from Stefan Porter, the alter ego of Stephen Porter. His latest article has her asking, is Orlando's theme park industry running out of employees? I forgot he's in the room. You can find that interesting article and more at www.info.com. It's a he. Our featured thread on the boards today was started by poster PBB322, who wonders what happens if you have to leave your cruise early. Other posters are chiming in with things you should know, for example, not being able to fly without a valid passport. Look for the thread entitled, Any Experience with Having to Depart a Cruise Early? on our Disney Cruise Line forum at disboards.com. It's a good discussion. Now, today on the Diz Unplugged Universal Edition, we'll be wrapping up the year with a look at the latest news from a celebration of Harry Potter, Super Nintendo World, and our highlights of 2016. You can tune in live at 1 p.m. at DizUnplugged.com for that show and all other shows on the Diz Unplugged Network. Finally, the weather tomorrow. Out in Anaheim, it will be rainy. Yeah, I know, with a high of 61 and a low of 41. Here in Orlando, it'll be partly cloudy with a high of 76 and a low of 61. For links to all that was discussed in today's Diz Daily Fix, please visit the Daily Fix main page at wdwinfo.com slash daily fix. That's going to do it for me today, but we will be back with you tomorrow for the next installment of the Diz Daily Fix. Have a great day, everyone. (laughs) 